Yes, they look like the best of friends. Very strange. Yeah, rats. Uh, <laughs> we're catching rats in a humane way these days because, well, we're all friendly to rats and rats are intelligent critters. And I'll uh, just take this off and this was a very, very tricky rat to get. It took quite a few weeks past the, well, the first rat that we had. And well, I like the first rat. It's actually pulled this into the cage. Okay, I think, they go back, see that there? They pull the cloth into the cage, so I don't know what that means. Maybe they're trying to escape. And uh, yes, uh, thank goodness for the Arlo camera system because it taught me a lot about how these critters play out and it taught me the problem that I had. And I'll just get this away and we can take a look at um, Mr. and Mrs. Radicus. Oh, it's even pulled it in on the other side. Crikey, Charlie's. It's really been having to go. I mean, look at that. Quite amazing, isn't it? Oh. Ah. Ah. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. This is a bit different, this one. It doesn't smell um, as stinky as the other one I caught. Maybe it's a different set. I'm sure the red experts will tell me. That is, if you can see the right spot. Uh, let me just move this Arlo camera away. I've got a bit more space to loosen that off and uh, carefully drag that over there. I hope I'm focusing on the, the rodent there. I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. They say we need to see under the tail or maybe someone can tell by looking at the ears or something. I'm definitely not an expert in these things, but oh man, this was a hard one to capture. The first one was relatively easy. Uh, again, I used cat food because that's what they were initially stealing. And it's having a look at me there. Okay, look, the, it, there's an aspect to me which is fascinated by this, but I know these are very destructive um, critters. Very destructive. Uh, very clever as well. It has formulated all sorts of ways of trying to escape from this, this cage here. Uh, but it, so far it's been unsuccessful. I've got a feeling that if I had enough time, it would actually work out a way to get out. That's just my gut feeling about this critter. I'm just going to put my hand in the cage. It should come up and you should see underneath the rodent there. Okay, is that telling you enough of whether it's a boy or a girl? I need the rodent experts to tell me. I hope we've seen enough there. I'm saying this is a girl. Um, it doesn't smell like the other one. Uh, it's a totally different critter in my mind. Mind you, it's acting in a very, <laughs> it's acting in a very similar way. I don't know whether it's a little bit smaller as well. I mean, it's hard to tell when you haven't got one to judge against the other one. Uh, look, beautiful in one way, but I mean, menacing in another. And uh, yes, I'll do another bush release. There's a bit of a curious spot in our backyard and this area opened up after a rainstorm and uh, maybe I need to put one of those security cameras down here to see what's going on. I sort of know part of the story. Let me just put uh, Mrs. Radicus there. And what we noticed was Fluffy was digging furiously here and I've just got the sneaky suspicion this might be the rat's nest. Okay, uh, she's done a lot of the digging there and what happens is that hole is actually connected to uh, that hole there and that's actually quite an extensive hole. It's actually quite large Lo and behold look who's just turned up um, Fluffy our wonderful cat, uh, but sadly She has well Basically let these rats run rampant for months because she's out at night sometimes and I think she just watched the rats, but she never I don't think she's ever caught one I suppose some cats are into it other cats aren't um, she's very curious about it, but she seems to be well, more of a visual curiosity, not one of trying to capture the things. Yeah, well, Fluffy's moved to another side. She is looking back at the rat, uh, but she seems to be happy to have them playing in her backyard. I don't quite understand. Just back on the holes, the peculiar part to these is that, well, I've already sort of semi-looked down this big one, and it's like, well, I'll show you some footage, hopefully from the Arlo camera. It's like a zone that basically heads off down to, towards my garage. It's almost like a, a structure underneath our backyard, which I haven't really quite worked out what it is. Uh, maybe I've got to you know, basically dig all this up to find out what exactly is going on there. And if I'm looking at the top here, it's like a tunnel uh, that goes in that direction there. And or who knows how far it goes and it may even go down to uh, underneath my garage. I just hope it's uh, nothing like you find on that Netflix show, Stranger Things. 
So there you go, they're like the best of friends. Uh, Fluffy had plenty of opportunity, months and months, to take out these rodents, but she was quite happy to have them residing in her area as well. That's something I just can't get my head around. Fluffy seems to be uh, wired in a little bit of a different way versus other cats. I'll just show you some of the footage the Arlo camera captured in capturing this rodent. Very frustrating, it took many, many weeks to get to this point, and I had to move the cage to round the corner where the rats were assembling. I think people saw in the first video there was an assembly of three rats at one point, and those people are correct, and there's actually another rat after this one that I captured. I was using cat food because that's what they were going for. It was quite peculiar for the fact these rats were really focused on that hard biscuit cat food. I think a lot of people who were seeing that in the other video were questioning, well, why didn't I bait the traps with something else? I just baited the traps with what the rats were going for. Also, these rodents knew how to get food out of the trap without triggering the trap. They put a lot of weight on their back feet. And so many mornings I come out and see they cleaned the trap out and there was no rodent inside it. And, well, I was so happy to get that sound of success. And let's listen to the trap triggering and capturing a rodent. I love it. And just thinking about other cats in the area, well I gave a serve to Fluffy Cat because she can't catch rodents well. Bluebell's always around as well, and from what I can see, Bluebell can't get these rodents as well. Just like uh, the last time I'll cover this up, I'll go for a walk down a bush track. And hopefully no one's going to call the police and say there's some strange guy walking around with a camera and something in a cage doing something wacky. Just as I'm headed down there, there is a uh, wonderful brush turkey, or bush turkey, whatever you want to call them. Stunning. Uh, protected bird, don't kill them. Okay, I'm down to that uh, trail again. I just passed some, well, neighbours, not far from where I live. And of course they pulled me up and said, Leo, what are you doing? What suspect stuff are you up to now? And I said, look, I'm doing a humane release of a wonderful little rodent. And they had a look at the rodent and they said, oh, that's a bush rat. That's a native critter. Whether or not it's a bush rat, I'll be honest here, I really don't know. But if it is a native critter, well, I'm feeling like I'm doing the right thing. Mind you, it just becomes a native critter that will end up in someone else's backyard, I'm sure. And I think the area was around here, because I sort of remember that log there was where the, uh, the last road darted off to. Okay, I uh, put it down there, pointing in the right direction, and uh, here we go. I just got to remember the, the movement of fingers to get this up. Okay, I think I remember. I've got a GoPro on a rock to see if we can get the slow motion of this critter taking off at high speed. If it's like the last one, it's a bit like the quick and the dead. And if I do that, it's going to go. Go! Oh, yeah, so it goes. Wooshka! Oh, gone in a flash. It went straight for that there, and there's a nice big green plant there. I'm never going to see it in amongst that uh, that foliage. Uh, she's gone. I hoping it was a she. I think it was. Well, did that make you feel all warm and fuzzy? I just hope I haven't given someone else a, a rodent problem. Crikey's, I hope it is a bush rat. I'll just better pick up this. I'd hate to leave this as the most expensive rock in the world, hey? Ah, uh, yes. As the sun sets on yet another beautiful critter release. I just hope I've done the right thing and I don't have the police rocking up at my place saying you've released a dangerous rodent back into the community. Now let's hope it's a native hay and well let's just hope that I haven't done something totally illegal like I'm always doing.